A College Park police officer is back home recovering tonight after he was run over by a suspected car thief. Investigator Ivory Morris was badly injured and has a long road to recovery ahead. Fox 5's Deidre Duke sat down with the officer who chose to spare the teen suspect's life that day and says that he still believes it was the right call. Sometimes have flashbacks of the whole situation and you know that that pain of the car going over me comes right back, but um, mostly the, what flashes is the, the kids, you know, seeing their face and keep remembering that I was dealing with ju juveniles at the time. One of those juveniles reportedly responsible for the injuries College Park Police investigator Ivory Morris suffered during a violent run-in with suspected car thieves here along Sullivan Road June 5th. Morris says he locked eyes with a teen driver who ran him over and chose to spare his life that day, a decision the officer explained to his supervisor from his hospital bed. So, you know, I was thinking when I was on top of that car, I had my other hand free to reach for the gun. But I said, I don't want to use force. I don't want to pull it. It wasn't the use force. I was thinking about they somebody kids. An investigator with the police department's special ops unit, Morris was working an off-duty job in the area when he got a hit from a flock camera that this stolen vehicle was nearby. The driver took off when the officer approached the SUV at a hotel in the area. Morris came upon a 15-year-old boy who was walking away from the car. That is when the vehicle returned, ran over the officer and teen, and took off. When you in that situation, is you, you're thinking, you know, it's my life or their life, and or we can save everybody, you know, and that split. Um, second, I just thought, like, you know, I don't want to take this this kid's life, and I might make it out of this alive. Now recovering at home, investigator Morris faces another round of surgery and a long recovery. A colleague has started a GoFundMe account to help him while he works to get back on his feet. While some question Morris's decision not to use force to stop the young suspect, he stands by his decision. Oh, it's a big thing to take a life. You, you got to think hard and long about it. You know, I know a lot of people said I should have did something different, but until they're in a situation where they have to take a life, you know, then they might make the same choice. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News.